Welcome back. So right now we have the CrossFit Games and the Olympics going on, and we see a surge in people who want to look like one of these two types of athletes, and that's okay. The problem is what people don't realize when it comes to looking like these athletes is not get up and go sprint as hard as you can or go lift as heavy as you can. There's a lot more that goes into it. The very beginning part of this is the years and the time and the dedication that goes into these physiques. I'm not saying you cannot attain these physiques. What I am saying is it's going to take you more than four to six weeks to look like this. So before you decide that you want to go on this adventure of becoming this lean and shredded athlete, understand it's going to take you a little bit more time. It's going to take you somewhere around 8, 12, maybe 24 weeks to get to this level of conditioning. The other part of that is there's more that goes into the programming, the behind the scenes work. There's more that goes into it aside from just beating yourself to a pulp and putting yourself to the floor. There's also the rest aspect of this. So a lot of these clients are getting adequate sleep. They're getting eight hours of sleep a night. They're getting nine hours of sleep a night in some instances. And you can't go out and train like this and not recover right. Their nutrition is also on point. Now, I'm not saying they're eating 100% perfectly 100% of the time, but they're probably closer to 90% on most of the time. The other thing is they're not drinking. So for some of you, you need that mommy juice at the end of the day to make sure you calm your nerves. Well, that has to go because if that's going to stay in, you're not going to see the changes that you want to see. You can't look like this without sacrificing certain things. The training. When we get into the training itself, you're looking at 20% of the time these athletes are going hard. 80% of the time, these athletes are working on skill, they're working on mobility, they're working on technique, they're working on different things that are going to make them better, not necessarily going as hard as they can. So what does that mean? If they have a 12-week training cycle, that means of those 12 weeks, you have about two really hard workout weeks. And then everything else is kind of skill and progression. Does that mean they're not working hard? Of course they're working hard. Some of these athletes are also doing two or three workouts a day. What does that mean? That does not mean they're going to the gym and doing three wads a day. The average CrossFitter that goes to the gym and does three wads a day is still sitting in a CrossFit box watching the CrossFit games from their CrossFit box. They are not getting the results these people are getting. When they hear multiple workouts a day, they're skipping over the fact that mobility counts as a workout or skill work counts as a workout or the wad itself counts as a workout. They are looking at it as, I must go hard all the time. This is also perpetuated by a lot of bodybuilders and bikini competitors and physique competitors because you hear, got to go do my two-a-days, no days off. Well, two-a-days are light cardio in the morning and then a weightlifting session in the afternoon when it comes to bodybuilding. They're also taking days off. They're taking days to recover, and that recovery may be completely off or maybe active recovery. So they're taking care of their bodies at a different level. It's not unattainable to look like this. It's just going to require more dedication. The other big thing, and this is the average person watching this video right now, in order to look like this, these athletes are putting down decent amounts of food a day. Are they watching their calories? Yes, they probably are because they need to be in peak condition. That means they need to be lighter, they need to be stronger, they need to be smoother, they need to be well fed, but they need to be getting enough calories in to make sure they can recover from workout to workout. The average person looking to change their physique is trying to reduce their calories to the minimum amount they can get in without passing out and dying. So what we need to do is look at food volume, training intensity, training consistency, sleep quality, mobility, recovery. All those things are part of what is going on here. It's not just go to your local gym, do five group fitness classes a day. It's not go to your local CrossFit box, do three wads a day. It's not just sprint five, six times a day. It is do work, recover, focus on your mobility, focus on your strength, focus on your recovery, focus on your foam rolling, focus on things that are going to make you better. Make sure that you're getting your foam rolling done. Make sure you're getting your sleep in. Make sure you're getting in whatever you need to do per day.